we're in glass and dock and as you can see the sun is rising and it is shining and it is not raining it's a beautiful morning it is it's gorgeous over that way there is an entirely too large ball of hot fusion that is You're doing obsessed. everything possible to knock me that way with photons <clears throat> what am i obsessed with in power station you're desperate to visit that's fission um, what's fusion oh the sun <laughs> so today we're heading back up the glasson branch to the lancaster canal <laughs> and then we're gonna turn south <laughs> and head towards uh garstang <laughs> It's quite early in the morning. Yeah. As you can tell by my hair, it's I haven't had a shower. Weather watch. You know how we like a weather watch. It's <clears> used to start raining at, at lunchtime, so. Which is why I haven't had a shower, because I'm going to have a shower later. So we're going to try and uh, try and beat the rain, although we probably won't. George had a bath last night. Now he's yeah, covered he's in mud. already filthy. <laughs> All right, let's just get going. Yeah, we got well, to find his ball, though. We need to find his ball and find his poo. Yeah, but especially his ball. Which will be hidden among the poo somewhere. Uh, Alright, I'll Looking put this away. This you can go and poo the ball hut. I'm on the poo and ball hut. Looking for the balls of poo. Ball retrieved and poos collected, we set off across the basin towards the bottom of the glass and branch. It's really nice to be up so early and the sunrise is beautiful, although it's slightly problematic to be heading straight towards the sun. There's a family of swans patrolling the canal above the lock, and there's another swan in the lock, but as soon as I open the bottom gate for Michael, that swan leaves. You may remember in our last vlog, the people in the hotel watched us descend the lock while they ate their lunch. Well today, the dining room is full of hotel guests having breakfast, so we've got an audience once again. It's a slow ascent and when we reach the top the gates are really heavy. Still, at least the sun is shining and it's a beautiful morning for a cruise. When Michael takes the boat out of the lock, the Swan family enter it, and they show no sign of leaving. We guess they want to go down, so we drop the lock to help them out. Our guidebook does say that these locks need to be left empty, and there's a lot of water coming down the byflow, so we figure we're not wasting any water. The Swan family need a little encouragement to leave, especially as the Swan below the lock turns out to be quite aggressive. We give them some Swan food, and they're finally tempted out. By the time we get to the second lock, it's clouded over. The sun has disappeared and the sky is looking ominous. And then, what starts out as a little drizzle turns into a full-blown downpour. We're halfway up the lock by this point, so I have no choice but just to wait in the open and get wet.
We consider pulling over to wait out the rain, but by this point we're soaked to the skin, so we just carry on. And then by the time we get to the next lock, the rain's eased off a little bit. The paddles and gates on the glass and flight are all quite heavy and they're secured with anti-vandal keys, so they're not the easiest of locks to negotiate. Still, at least they've all been set in our favour today. Four locks down and two to go. Back at the top lock and the sun's come out again. Well, for a few minutes anyway. It's all aboard at the top and we turn right back onto the main line of the Lancaster Canal, ready to head south back towards Preston. We've now come about four miles since the junction. I've mainly been inside the boat with George, while Michael has steered the boat for the last hour or so. We pass Greaves Farm Holiday Park. And then we pass another holiday park that backs onto the canal. It's clearly a popular spot. The Lancaster Canal has endless views like these. It's fairly flat, hence not having any locks, and we pass lots of fields full of crops and animals. It's so quiet here. It's Michael's turn for a break inside the boat while I continue to take us south. First past Garston Marina, then past Bridge House Marina and Caravan Park, and a seemingly endless row of GRPs. Then we pass through Garstang itself.
over the river wire. George enjoys the views from this elevated vantage point, along with some bonus butt scratches. We're rather intrigued by this dome shaped building just north of Billsborough. Another small aqueduct, this time over the River Brook. We finally arrive in Billsborough, having travelled about 10 miles since the top lock. It's definitely time for us to stop. <laughs> that was a fun day. Yeah. yeah. Do you remember at the beginning of this video where I said, forecast is it's going to be dry till 12 so we're going to see how far we can get to before then mm. reality was it was dry till what 30 seconds after we left <laughs> no we made George, it sit over here sorry we made it through um the first lock where michael insisted on giving the swans a lift down even though they have legs and wings and could get down themselves they were obviously having trouble <laughs> with the whole thing we drove up and there's a swan in the lock and the swan doesn't seem to know how to get out you opened the lock gate, and, and the swan was just out. like, oh, excellent, I can finally leave. And then there was four swans at the top, and I was like, I don't think they're related, but at the same time... Yeah, because the four at the top were like two adults and two young, so yeah. they're clearly a family unit. So I was like, maybe they need to use the elevator? But we'll find Did out you? when we drive out, because they'll go straight in if they want to go down. And Which they went they straight in. <laughs> I was like, okay, so then we drop them. And then I get to the bottom, takes forever, finally get to the bottom, open the gate, and the one that's on the bottom just goes in like a battleship Aggressive. going, I'm ready to kill all of you. <laughs> so the others retreated to the other end of the lock, but they're essentially trapped in there now. So I was like, what have we done? <laughs> We've got involved in swamp. But it all got figured out eventually. We got involved in swamp politics yeah, and it all went wrong. Yeah, so basically the... Eventually Swan Exit happened. Yeah. And, and they left Swexit. the... Uh, Swexit. Swexit. Eventually Swexit happened <laughs> and they, uh, they left the, the lock for good. And then we got to the next lock. And uh, because we wasted so <laughs> much time, at the, because we wasted so much time at the first lock. Oh my god! I don't think we've ever been caught out quite like it. And because we just couldn't, like if we'd been going along, I'd have taken George inside, and you'd have just been under the umbrella. Because we were in the lock, you didn't have the umbrella. Mm. I didn't have anything. George didn't have anything. He just looked like a drowned rat. He's like he was just wet, and his ears were like flapping in the wind. Yeah, and this is literally one lock from from pulling in. To the lock when it started to drizzle to coming out the other side we were soaked at the both of it was like skin. maybe we need to just stop because because we're completely soaked <gasps> my <laughs> shoes are still sodden like full of water so i said we're stopping before the next lock because i didn't want to do another lock in the rain and then the rain basically stopped it was just dripping and then we were like oh well we're already wet so we might as well just do the locks and then the sun came out yeah so, so by the time we made it to the top of the locks rain was gone you know not exactly like a completely reliably nice warm day but it was dry yeah. and we were able to drive down all the way we were thinking of stopping in Garsting but we basically just were like well might as well, go all the might way as well continue all the way because um, here in Vilboro we're picking up some new ropes that well lines I should say they are made of rope <laughs> they are ropes and they are lines center lines but we needed longer center lines for a potential fingers crossed trip that's coming up yeah so and we've had we've sort of suffered from having two even, lines that are different lengths and and even today the longer one could isn't have, really long could have been doing really with a few longer, yeah. so now so, we're parked in front of a shark <laughs> and uh you know it's it's interesting so i think we're going to stop here for a few days um 
Well, we definitely are because we're not due off till next Tuesday or Wednesday. It's the second, right? Yeah. Yeah. So uh, we've, I don't know, so we've been on the Lancaster for two weeks now and we've gone all the way to the end, all the way down the gas, the gas, gas and branch. And two weeks is kind of enough, I like to see it. But not if you spend a week of that two weeks in Lancaster. Mm. Or in my case, on the train multiple times yeah. to Liverpool. So, um, so yeah, I think it's the ideal amount of time because we've got a few more days. But, um, yeah, not if you spend all your time in one place. No. But it's really nice here <laughs> in Billsboro. Uh, we are on a little bit longer mooring. Everything from basically just behind that boat onwards is a two-day mooring. Um, we're on a seven day up to that crazy big pub yeah. and we don't want to be across from the party boat, party boat. so yeah I'm just really tired because those locks are quite heavy yeah they were and then when you get cold oh god I'm always grumpy aren't I pretty much I lit a fire to dry us out and I can just feel the heat coming out <laughs> yeah so we want to sneak back indoors um, although I've got to make the run to the post office before it closes yeah because yeah. we got something said post for stunt and uh, it was really nice of them to do that, but it's a larger package because these lines are, you know, fairly large. Let's get on and go. Excellent. So um, that's the end of the video. So thanks for watching. Give us a thumbs up. Comment down below. If you haven't already, hit the subscribe button and ring the bell if you want to get notifications. If you ring it, you just click on it. I like ringing it. Okay. Okay. George! Georgie! Come here! Good boy! A number of times I've thought if I could just walk down the towpath and occasionally make little nuggets. There's a tank coming by now. It's not really as a tractor. What is that? Oh, it's a big bulldozer. Yeah. Bear oh, with for a second poo. while another, that thing goes past. Another poo. <clears throat> Move to my... towards me. Oh, he's out of shot. He's still in... he's still... Doing the food that he was doing five minutes ago, he's just been rotating. 